as a player. Yes, sir. Uh, obviously, the story before a couple fights ago was you ended your long layoff because of injuries and everything. And now you've been fairly active since returning. So I guess, uh, what are the emotions now, just a few days removed from fighting here in Sydney? No, I just want to go to war now, man. I want to get this over and done with. It's been a long camp. I just want to punch on, honestly. So uh, extreme violence and shock and all. I just want to put on a good show for Sydney. I feel like I was lackluster last one after obviously being sick. So I want to come in and punch this swear word guy's face off. When you say it was a long camp, was that just, did you put that on yourself to like go harder or was it, was there anything difficult in camp or what exactly do you mean by that? Yeah, man, all the, like, obviously I got a bit of hate after the last one. A lot of gambling addicts uh, lost some money on me. So, um, uh, you know, got screenshotted some of the negative comments and that gave me um, some drive and uh, I was straight back into camp after I got better and uh, uh, probably my longest pre-camp and then I went into nine weeks of camp now at City Kickboxing so I miss my family and this motherfucker's been keeping me away from my family so. I was gonna ask that like in the past we've seen fighters they come to they have this grudge against their point because they're the reason that yeah. they don't see their kids and their families and everything are you one of those types of fighters? Yeah that's me. So I guess when they presented you Anton Turkali, what did you think of the name? Or did it didn't even matter to the people. I, you know what's cool? Like, uh, I, I like fighting people from all around the world. It's like my sort of way of going, like, yeah, I get to like go around the world, like conquering shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I fought Brazilians, Americans, like you go around the world and you just fight all these different nationalities. That's like my way of going to war around the world. So um, Swedish was a good one to add to the list. Is it Swedish or Swiss? It's Swiss something. It's Swiss. Swedish Swedish. Swedish Swedes. <laughs> yeah. <Those are> good. <laughs> uh, what do you think of his nickname, the Pleasure Man? Yeah, that fucked. Oh, I'm sorry. That that one that one caught me off guard. It was like it, when because uh, it's like I was I can't remember what I was thinking about, but it was like you know when Mike Tyson said, um, "What is it called when like violence gets your dick hard?" I was like. You don't want to fight someone who's getting their dick hard when they're fighting, so I don't want to be fighting the pleasure man. Like, what's going on here? So I was like, maybe we should just like look into the nickname. I don't know what that's about, but yeah. No pleasuring, please, in the octagon. <laughs> Afterwards, maybe. No, it's okay. <laughs> and, uh, last one for me. Uh, Israel is in here. He's wearing your shirt. Said, uh, both for Tyson Pedro. How'd you, pull, yeah, how'd you pull that off? Getting Sponsorship. Yeah. Bro, it cost me a bit. Yeah. Was, well, yeah, we're going to try and get the Drink West one on it. Nah, of course not. That's my brother, bro. He chucked it on me. So, um, I, yeah, he um, he always supports me, bro. Like, uh, we've been pretty tight this camp, so. My man, I didn't know he was wearing my shirt. That was nice of him. Did uh, your team have to jump through any hoops to get the vote for Tyson Pedro font and everything? Because that is used in a movie, that vote for Pedro. Oh, is it? Yeah. No, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sue me, please. <laughs> no, I didn't know it was in a movie. No, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, what a coincidence. <laughs> um, next question, please. <laughs> Okay, Tyson. Hi, sir. Uh, you're fighting at home. Does that mean you get to stay at home? Or do you separate yourself from your family as a, you're focusing on the fight and then family times afterwards? My, my daughter was the one that gave me gastro last fight, so they're not seeing me. They're far away from me, this one. My wife tried to come up and visit me. No, no deal. <laughs> um, you had a, so you spent nine weeks in New Zealand. So does that mean uh, this Saturday you're supporting the Warriors? Definitely not. Can I get one of the wires from you? Definitely not. <laughs> Ty already gave me shit for uh, going and helping him train. I went and Kai invited me. Was I supposed to say no to Kai? But yeah, I went and trained him and they won six games in a row, but that's it. Uh, <laughs> oh, seven, seven. Yeah, that, yeah. I don't um, want to say it was me, but... <laughs> and you're uh, one of five um, active Samoan UFC fighters, and there's four of you fighting on this card. What does, it, what does it mean to you to be, um, and all of you, to be representing your culture on such a massive stage? Uh, you know... It's pretty cool, like, uh, if I was looking at all of us, it's not like we're the best role models, like, we've all got our issues, but uh, it's, uh, I'm starting to realise that there's a lot of kids looking up to us, so just showing them that uh, if you bust your ass, dream big, and put in 100%, that you can do anything, so I think it's pretty special that what we're doing. Cheers, brother. Thank you. Set the front here, Tyson. Um, yeah, yeah, just your game plan going into the fight, I'm guessing with the pleasure, man, you don't want to really grapple. Uh, so what, what's, the, what's, what's your game plan? A lot of uh, innuendos here, boys. No, um, there was to grapple now that you made me double think it. No, uh, there's, uh, I, haven't, I haven't really got a game plan, man, to be honest. Um, no, that's, that's a lie. Uh, we've been working on some stuff. I'm just ready for everything. 
I just want to hurt him, bro. Like, uh, I just want to go on, and, and I'm sure he's coming in to hurt me as well. I want to put on a big performance. I want that bonus. I want, like, to show the crowd. I want I want some cheers. I want to hear the Sydney crowd. I want them to be happy. So, um, yeah, I just want to put on a show. And just your, just your predictions on the main event. What do you think is going to happen there? There's one thing I learned about Izzy, he does what he says and what he manifests. And he says he's going to knock him out, so I can see it came out. Thanks, mate. Tyson, just to your left. Um, what was the biggest thing you learned from the loss to Modestus Bukakis back in February? Don't see your family before the fight. <laughs> Fair um, that was it. I got gastro. So no, and uh, no, he was a very good opponent, man. But I can't even remember the second or third round. Like I was so dehydrated, and I got he punched me in the face so many times. Um, I watched um, right before I was throwing up at seven a.m. when I got picked up. I was, you probably read the story, but um, when I, I was sick, um, AJ Tracy's album came out, and it was called Flu Game by like, and it was about the Michael Jordan flu game. So I thought it was a sign to go in there and get a crack. <laughs> Um, but it turns out it wasn't a sign, the next sign I saw was a hospital sign, so that was it. <laughs> I, I fucked it up, but I thought I'd go in and have a crack. Yeah, definitely. Um, what is it, I, I, I asked Ty this, he was just in here before, and I asked him this question, I want to give you the opportunity to answer as well. What does it mean to you to be fighting on this card with him? Um, you know, you guys being such close friends and obviously business partners, what does that mean to you? Yeah, I've, I've missed him, man. I haven't seen him in a little bit. Uh, I miss my nephew. Um, I try not to think about it too much, uh, fighting uh, on the same card because it stresses me out watching him more than Mike's actually fighting. So uh, it's very exciting. Um, I'm hoping we can do what we did on Perth because that was one of the most, uh, uh, like, I was just ecstatic when we both won, man. So if we can do something like that again, hopefully not the after party shenanigans though, because it got a bit out of hand afterwards. <laughs> Thanks, Tyson. Nice Appreciate it. Tyson, back up. Um, what do you think would be bigger for Western Sydney and Panthers uh, winning three in a row or you and Ty winning on the same card? Nah, it'll be Panthers because me and Ty will be there as well. So <laughs> it'll be the Panthers winning for sure. But um, it's, uh, you know, the whole community gets behind the, that team and they play all year round. Me and Ty only fight maybe three, three times a year. So, um, yeah, it's just cool what we're all doing for the area, I think. Like, you know, we're just showing a bunch of kids that you can can do something. Yeah, I was going to say, like, as someone who grew up in Western Sydney, we didn't have many role models growing up, so... And that's why, don't think that me and Ty are role models. <laughs> 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 but, uh, like, you know, that I've, I've, I have spoken to Ty about this, uh, like, before, and just said that there are people watching us now, there are kids watching us. Even if we don't want to be, we are. So, um, we have to try and be better. Well, there's a generation of kids doing, you know, maybe coke out of shoes. Coach. What? Coke, <laughs> no, no, that's not <laughs> Where are you from, Bob? <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> uh, just oh, final, no. final question. Obviously, the, the venue is in Western City, if you can, and technically in a West. So yeah. th does that give it a little bit more sig uh, significance for yourself and time? Um, maybe. I, I can't speak to Ty. Uh, I'm just happy to be fighting in Sydney. Uh, I, haven't been fought, I haven't fought in Sydney since like St. Mary's Band Club. So it's, uh, I think it's a really cool, it's got a bit of nostalgia coming back. It's obviously a little bit different than the band club, but <laughs> you know, I'm excited to be back in Sydney. No, thank you. Thank you for representing the West as well. Thank you, my brother. Tyson, just over here. Look, obviously, you know, your opponent is a fighter who likes to start quick, start early, and get a finish you know, early in the fight. Considering the name you have in the sport, and considering that this is, in, this is on home soil, are you expecting him to follow suit and, you know, really go after you hard in that first round? Yeah, I, I, I assume so. Like, I'm sure he's gonna try and like finish me off quick. Classic pleasure, man. But uh, um, you know, I, I, I hope it's a good scrap because I like to finish guys off quick as well. So if I can finish the pleasure man off quick, who knows what can happen? But uh, man, um, I don't know. I think because of that, it's gonna be a good fight though. Like, uh, you know, he's a um, very well-rounded mixed martial artist, although he's lost his last two fights. I'm watching him, he does everything right. Maybe just hasn't gotten off on the scorecard. So uh, I think it has the opportunity, like there's the ability there to be a very good fight. Thanks. Man, I'm gonna go viral with a bunch of like, <laughs> finishing off guys. I know, here we go. <laughs> Hectic. Tyson, just over here. Um, you've already kind of touched on it a little bit, but the, the last time you... Not what I meant. 
Uh, the last time uh, you, were, you were in Australia doing some interviews and you said you're not interested in being a role model, you're not looking to be mm. a role model. Has your attitude towards that changed at all? Yeah, it did. Last, uh, this fight camp. That's crazy. Um, crazy how quickly stuff can change and you just grow as a person. Uh, a couple guys from City Kickboxing that I wasn't expecting um, to say it came up and just, uh, uh, I'm going to get a bit emotional saying it, yeah. They just said some stuff, um, yeah, that um, made me rethink my position on that. Awesome, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Tyson, just over here, just to, to your left, the other left. Right, uh, I, I, I know you hear my voice. Uh, you Brother, that, you set me up with that one, my left's over there. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs>